Hello and welcome to the second video in the series on analog to digital conversion programming. We'll see how the manufacturer maps the code all the way down to the board where we make sure we use the right memory locations in our microcontroller processor. Let's get right into it. Section 7 is memories and 7.1 is memory mapping. Here's a visual representation of the memory space of the microcontroller. It lays out the peripherals, memory, UART, and other kind of functionality that the microcontroller supports. The key thing that we're going to be looking for is where in this memory space is the ADC functionality mapped towards. We want to find the base address of the ADC. Taking a closer look, we found the ADC's base address. It's 400C0000. With this as a starting point, we can see if the manufacturer's code lines up with the data sheet. To verify, we're going to have to look at the manufacturer's supplied code. I found the .h file, the header file, for the Arduino Do. It is the SAM3x8e. There's a lot of value in locating which specific board file you're going to be working with. This main header file contains subheader files, which map more directly to specific functionality, for example, the ADC. We are going to be looking at the component underscore ADC header file. This ADC header file maps the code to the memory locations in the microcontroller. Let's take a closer look at the data sheet and how it relates to this code. Here in section 43.7, we have the actual register locations and descriptions for the microcontroller. The manufacturer's supplied code lines up with the values highlighted in the data sheet. The manufacturer laid out this memory register table in the form of a structure. They created their own type definition of this struct. Notice that the names align and even by convention they have the access of the register. They have write only, read write, and read only. These are themselves type definitions. Let's take a look at that real quick. To match the format of the registers laid out in the datasheet, the manufacturer declares the type of register, whether it's a read-only, a read-write, or a write-only. Here's where we specify the 32-bit word. We say it's unsigned, and then declare whether it's changing or not. The comments clarify which one goes to which. Notice that the registers are 32 bits of information. This is where it's coming from. So within this structure that the manufacturer declared, we have each register and know what type of each variable is specified. To get the name of the structure, we scroll down and see that it's ADC, capital A, little d, little c. We now know how the manufacturer links the code down to the data sheet and our hardware functionality in the ADC. Now we have one piece of information left to understand how we link this lower level commands all the way up to our Arduino program. The manufacturer utilizes a macro. These are macros defined in C programming. This last piece of information maps the memory address of the ADC in the memory space of the microcontroller. Notice that we have ADC, the structure that we just looked at, big A, little d, little c. It's a pointer to a value in memory. This is the base address of the ADC in the microcontroller's memory space. And we're defining it as big A, big D, big C, ADC. 
Here it is again in memory. This is where the value is coming from. To close the loop on this, we want to look back at the struct that was defined. Big A, little d, little c. So what we're doing here in this macro is assigning the base address. The structure takes care of where each register is located. It sets the offsets. How this translates to the code is we reference the macro, which is a pointer to a struct containing the register values. This macro makes sure we're pointing to the right base address. Then we access the proper value in the struct and write the correct value, or read from it depending on what kind of register it is. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you learn more about ADC programming. We learned how to interpret the manufacturer's code from the datasheet all the way up to practical applications. Have a great day and let me know what you think in the comment section.